Hey guys, it's Danielle Tiara. Thanks for tuning in to Statue of Society. So today, we're going to be discussing Nicki Minaj and her husband Kenneth and his alleged victim who is speaking out. Before we get into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on your favorite celebrity news. And also, be sure to click that notification bell so you get notified when an upload has been posted. Looking for stylish, protective cell phone cases? Bomb Sauce Babe has you covered. Shop now by visiting online at www.bombsaucebabe.com. So when Nicki Minaj publicly announced that Kenneth was her boyfriend, everyone was wondering who was he and where did he come from? Come to find out after they dug up his name, they found out he was an old boo from back in the day and also that he was a registered offender. Of course, this led to everyone bashing Nicki Minaj for dealing with such a person and she decided to defend him and state that it was not as it seemed and it was all mutual. But that turns out not to be the case because just recently the victim came out and spoke about it. The victim whose name is Jennifer did an interview with Nosy Live so let's check that out. December of 2018 um, or 19, I don't know. That he surfaced with Nikki and it was a big thing where people um, started looking up his rap sheet and speaking about what he had did. Now, granted, I know he's supposed to register as a offender. I have nothing to do with that. That was the plea deal that he took. He chose not to register when he moved to California. And this is when all the trouble resurfaced. Nikki made a post on her page stating that we was in a relationship. He was 15, I was 16, and it was because of my mother, the reason why charges was pressed. That is a lie. I never lived with my mother. I wasn't raised with my mother, even though my mother was a part of my life. She wasn't a part of my life in that way. Um, that is false. We both, Kenny and I were both 16 at the time. Um, we were never in a relationship. Um, and I spoke about that. After that phone call with Nikki, the only contact I had was from street goons. Um, I think she has somebody in her camp called Ganks. Ganks? No, Ganks. Come here, Ganks. Why? Let me tell you what happened. Gangs, gangs, Titi. Gangs was a man. I know. Ganks, listen. Why? Me and Titi was arguing the other day. No, Zoo and Titi was trying to argue me and Titi talking about if you ask anybody on the block, they would have known. You know, hey, listen, look, look, look. You had a situation, but it wasn't really respected. Why you got to fight you for was a- mine. You was No, I was you not. Mine. You know what, gangs, why is it, why he always been so a little bit, a little bit crazy? Um, He was contacting family members. Um, There was a lot of numbers as far as money um, being offered, um, but it was never offered from Nikki and it was never offered from Kenny personally. It was just people speaking on behalf of Kenny. So the interview turned all the way left when the alleged victim's cousin got on the line. They had a huge dispute because the cousin allegedly took a settlement from Kenny. Jennifer, let me tell you something, homegirl. My grandmother's spirit and your mother had the spirit. I know they're so upset with you right now. You're going too far. When I called you, you're right. I did call you and let you know what was going on. I had no idea you was going to use it as an excuse to go and try to get you a bag. You need to cut it out. You really need to before you get yourself hurt out here, homegirl. Like by who? I by who? How much did they pay you, Sharon? How much did they pay you, Sharon? How much did they pay you, Sharon? It must be nice going to New York Fashion Week, right? It must be nice going to all those things that you've been going to that you've had privilege and access to. Look, okay, it just so it just so happened that you're hanging out with all of these people and you feel like you're special now. How about you go take care of your kids, Sharon? How about that? How about that? How about you go take care of your kids? It's almost 40 years old and you have Listen, you can't tell my story. You wasn't there. Let's stick to the subject at hand. Let's stick to the subject at hand. We're talking about Kenneth Petty. We're not talking about Inwood Street. We're not talking about the, the house that I grew up in. We're talking about this nigga. The nigga that you've been running with. The nigga who you've been so up, all up, all up in the 
Wasn't you living with his baby mother Chanel? Wasn't you posting pictures on? You are irrelevant. You are irrelevant. And if I see you on the street, you can mark my words. I'm a wolf. Yes. How about that? They, because I have family and whether or not they care about me, I'm a big sister to six brothers. I have kids. I have nieces. I have nephews. I have people that do care about me. She may not, Sharon. She may not. And that's okay. That's okay. She's in a dark place right now. She's been all over the place. And, and that's cool. But this is not about clout. This is about me having to my life. I've had to move like three or four. I've moved three times in the last couple months. I've had my daughter being approached in clubs about, oh, you know who Zoo is. And how is she supposed to know? She wasn't even born when that happened. I don't feel like their life should be affected because of him not doing what he was supposed to do. All he had to do was register. Your wife could have got the lawyers for you afterwards because his lawyers have contacted me. And his lawyers, what they want to do is they want to go to court and try to get this thrown out and i told I, I told his lawyer i said listen you went to school for that not me so if you feel like you have you know a legitimate case knock yourself out but don't use me don't call me to testify because if you do i'm gonna tell the truth at 16 i was being harassed and threatened to drop the charges and now i'm being harassed and threatened to recant my story and all because i won't <laughs> Look, it was it was rough going through what I went through with him. And it was hell. Like, I tried to light the toilet paper on fire. He had a roll of toilet paper. And he was standing in front of the mirror. And he was beating his chest, talking about, I'm the man. I'm the man. Like, he was so proud. Oh, my God. Oh. And, and so so he stood there and he's lighting a cigarette but he had matches. So, so I take the matches and I'm like, well, let me light it. Or whatever have you, and I threw it. I threw the the match like towards the roll of toilet paper, thinking it would catch on fire, but it didn't. And there was like this big bottle of of um I, something that you clean contact lenses with. It was like a big bottle, like on the edge of the dresser, and so I I picked it up and I like threw it like with all my might at his head. And when I hit him, he kind of ducked a little bit, you know, and then that's when I pushed him and he fell in between the beds. It was like beds on the floor and he fell in between it. And I ran down the steps and that nigga stood at the top of the steps and he was like, nobody's going to believe you. Where you going? He didn't chase after me. He didn't run after me. He didn't. He just wouldn't let me leave at first. But once I got down the steps, he just stood on the steps and was like, you know, he made it known that nobody was going to believe me. But, and the police picked me up from the school and they took me to his house. And when he came out, like he didn't deny anything. He didn't he didn't tell the police, oh, that's my girlfriend. We got in a fight. You know, she just mad. None of that came up. So if that's the case. If I was his girlfriend or we went before, even if we would we had. So why wouldn't he say that? So now Kenneth's best friend is on his Instagram account dissing him all up and through it. He's making it clear that they're ex-best friends and that he has been betrayed by Kenneth ever since he linked up with Nicki Minaj. He wrote on his Instagram story to Kenneth by calling him Zoo. I'ma violate you every trip you not tough. 100 bands we put the gloves on. At Nicki Minaj, I fly to Cali tomorrow. What up? He said, it's a difference between clout chasing and hate. See, I'm past that. I want revenge. I want him to suffer. Zoo God was called upon you. The upset friend decided to go on a rampage about how he was betrayed by Kenneth. He states that he wished that he would have messed with Nicki Minaj because he has a million dollar mindset and a businessman and he felt that Kenneth is a bum. This friend also stated that there was a time when Kenneth Petty knocked Nicki Minaj under a car. So he's made some serious accusations and his account was taken down but when he came back he wrote can't hide the truth you can report me a million times guess I'm back new page alert. And he also been making diss after diss to Kenneth. He even named his latest diss Black Widow with the image of Nicki Minaj called the Funeral Edition. Woo! And he also made multiple IG videos, long videos, talking about Zoo, naming them Zoo Talk. Y'all check this out. Y'all heard what I said, right? How would y'all feel? You went out on a good date with this man, and at the end of the day, 
You invited them just to come over watch movies. That's your intention, right? What would you do? Would you? And you, would you can feel the same way you feel for Zoo? If a nigga your mother or your sister or your daughter, because I have a daughter, I have granddaughters, I have sisters. My mother passed away. She told me what to do. See, this is this is this is God plan. This ain't. I'm not no street nigga. I'm trying to get out the street right now. I'm done with all the fight. I don't want to fight with no gun. Think ahead so I fight with my pen. I'm not sending nobody to jail. No, not to win. But what I will do is speak the truth. All right, so I would love to hear y'all thoughts on this situation. Comment your thoughts below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on your favorite celebrity news. And also, also, <laughs> be sure to follow us on Instagram. We also post a lot of celebrity news and a lot of fun content over there. So join the conversation until the next video. Deuces.